Jack Studnika to start for the Canucks. Carson Soucy, Tyler Myers on defense. Sutter, Adam Ernie, and Matthias Janmark up front for the Oilers, and we're underway with Soucy controlling at his own blue line and setting the puck ahead. Hoping he'll be there for the full two minutes. Bouchard to Nugent Hopkins. Pass was deflected, the puck came right in front. Demko two saves off Kane. Demko ready to read the puck coming in front. And Kane puts it right into the logo. Good positioning. Taking it from backhand to forehand. Back-to-back -back stops for Thatcher Demko after that puck pinballed its way in front. Now Bouchard with a shot. Demko might have taken that off the mask. No icing as McGuire goes back for the puck. Leaves for Cole. Gave it away. And a nice save by Demko off Lane Peterson. Myers intercepts. Checked as he tried to send the puck ahead. Borgo gets it to Lavoie. His shot stopped. Puck is cleared, and that'll do it. Oilers 0 for 2 on the power play. Managed one shot on that one. And this game remains scoreless. Well, one man down, but they outnumbered the Oilers when they had the puck in the zone. At least had help getting it down the ice. Here's a long indirect pass. Yan marks in. Put it on the forehand. Got a shot away. And then Sutter couldn't put on the rebound, but Ernie does. Adam Ernie spun and shot all in one motion. And the Oilers open the scoring with a minute 26 to go in the first. It's taken care of. Janmark's trying to get it to his forehand. Does so with the rebound. Sutter with the flyby, but Ernie's able to find it, spin, and get it past the right pad before Demko can reach and kick out that right leg. And gets away and creates his own time and space. And game's easier when you have more time. Trust me. I finally figured out what's different. Good. Skates through center and over the back of the line. Tried to play chip and chase, but he was stood up. Besser gets the puck nicely across to DiGiuseppe. Hughes racing to join him. It's a two-on-one. Phil DiGiuseppe centers. Hughes scores! Could have played in the Labor Cup with those hands right out of midair. Quinn Hughes ties the game in one. Does DiGiuseppe has gone to the races and then realizes that Hughes is caught up. It's a saucer pass that has no landing gear and doesn't need it. Bunted into the net. Skinner can't get across in time. He's not going to stop that one. DiGiuseppe holds long enough, gets it over the sliding defenseman. And the hand-eye. Submission campaign. Kuzmenko to Bovillier. Three Canucks over the blue line. Bovillier delays. Finds Kuzmenko across. And Cole's shot was blocked by Gleason. Here's Tyler Myers. Ahead for Andre Kuzmenko who shovels the puck across to Ian Cole. And he drives it into the Evans zone. Pedersen making moves on the boards. Ran into Nugent Hopkins. Now Kuzmenko around for Carson Soucy. Into the middle. Heronic wrist shot. Knocked down. Loose puck. Oh, what a save. Skinner with the left pad. As Kuzmenko tried to tuck that one. And he frees it up for Suter. Back to the line. Sent to the right point to Heronic. Soucy at the left point. Loads up. Let's fly. And a blocker saved by Skinner. Oilers clear. Horonic back to pick up the puck in his own zone. They are just tinkering with the defensive pairings throughout the game. Here's Suter. DiGiuseppe. Back in for Pugh Suter. Besser's there. Canucks are mid-change. As Hughes walks across the slot of the back. And there scores! He's having a night. Quinn Hughes in the second in a row, and the Canucks have the lead. Forecheck has been profitable in the second period, and then give it to Hughes, he'll do the rest. This is knowing there's a screen. Skinner is confused on this one with traffic in front, and it just gets through. We've seen his snapshot, his slap shot. There's a backhand goal by the captain. Yes. My mother, the English teacher, would be appalled. Here's Pedersen one time. He ripped it wide. 95 miles an hour on that one time. Hughes. Miller wanted to load up for a shot, I think, but the puck didn't stay with him. Two-man advantage continues. Miller across. Pedersen. 
Larson blocked by Grover. Besser wins a battle for the puck behind the net. 35 seconds to go in the period. Miller shoots, blocked. He's going to go after real. Besser couldn't put it home. Miller feeds back to Hughes. Under 30 seconds to go in the period. Here's Pedersen. After the Miller shot was blocked, swatted away, and it's just off the side of the net. Off his knee and then off the bottom of the stick. Cheats would be totally sympathetic to them because he still has a VCR on the flash is 12. Not a beta max. We're underway. Canucks are on the power play. They lead two to one. Can extend their lead. Third two man advantage they've had in two games against the Oilers. First one was 20 seconds. The one earlier tonight, a minute two. There's a shot right off the face off by Pedersen, and he ripped that one. Another one at 95 miles an hour. The Oilers clear the zone. <laughs> Hughes brings the puck ahead. Leaves for Pedersen, who protects down the boards. Hughes in front. Kuzmenko shoots. He scores. Forty seconds into the third, Andre Kuzmenko on a power play makes it three to one. Because Pedersen shields the puck and then moves it that allows Kuzmenko to get completely open one stick handle and he's got a heavy shot just over the left pad ticks off that and into the net Fox power play comes to life 3-1 and they're still on the power play because the first penalty had not yet expired Skinner able to swallow it Oilers send the puck around Pedersen keeps it in fires across for Hughes Kuzmenko protecting the puck from Nurse. Miller after it. Nurse did well to work it free, but then the clearing attempt by Sutter was no good. Hughes kept it in with the skate. Miller across. Besser back to Pedersen. Takes a look. Let's it go. He scores. <laughs> Elias Pedersen picked his spot, and he hit it to make it four to one. Max continue to keep the puck alive. Walking in, waiting, using the screen. Skinner is down the whole time, and it's up over his glove. Two defensemen trying to play goalie. Goalie couldn't play goalie, and the Canucks make it 4-1. Just past the eight-minute mark of the third. JT Miller fires back. Ian Cole down to Brock Besser. Cole, one-timer, tipped in by Phil Giuseppe. Skinner looked to the referee, thinking he might have been a high stick. But Di Giuseppe with the tip out of midair makes it 5-1. to one. As the Canucks gain the zone, and Besser picks up another point. And there's Di Giuseppe. That looked a little high. But it's where the puck connects with the stick and the crossbar as your unanswered goal for the Canucks. Another assist for Brock Besser, his fourth of the game. Cole and Besser assisting on this one. And at 8 16, the Canucks increase their lead to four. Di Giuseppe with a goal and two assists in this game. In his regular season career, he's had one three-point game. Here come the Oilers, and they score. As they answer that one right back, Raphael Lavoie with a wrist shot past Thatcher Demko to make it 5-2. to two. Led Bakersfield in goals. Big man. And lean into the stick, two on one. And this is past the blocker as this time Myers is playing pass. And Lavoie rifles this up top. And he gains the red and backhands the puck through. Four goes after it to the crease. Demko had to make a save there on Hanlon, who was following up and tried to flip that one over the pad. Lines down in this one. And the Canucks content with the first win of the preseason as they give up the opening goal to come back and knock off the Oilers. Five to two at Rogers Arena.